Howdy everyone. I'm back at it again. It's a beautiful spring day here in Minnesota. It's the middle of May. Fishing season has opened. So we can now target bass, pike, and walleye. I think pretty much the only thing that's still off limits for a couple more weeks are musky. But today we're going to try for some river smallies. I'll probably pull my kayak down and launch right down here, but I figured we'd wander down here real quick, see if there's any smallies roaming around that we could catch from shore. Got a little bass assassin elite shiner tied on. Oh, that's a smallie right down there, I think. Pretty sure it is. Oh, I think he took off. I do see one bed fanned out down there. I know they're not spawning quite yet though. If they were, there would be a whole bunch of beds right down along the shoreline here. But there's one fanned out. I don't know, sometimes the fish are a little bit finicky once they start fanning out beds. It seems like they're more interested in looking for a mate than trying to eat for a few days, maybe a week. But we'll see if we can find any willing to bite out here today. One I saw down there was a nice one. He's probably a good 18, 19 inch fish. So that's a good sign that there are some big ones around up here. I see a pike sitting in the corner right down here. Should we try to catch him? Pretty sure that's a pike. Is it? Yep. There he goes. It's probably better off that I don't catch him anyway. He'd probably just take my jig. There are a couple of smallies right out there in front of me. Not real big ones, but they're the size that I wouldn't mind catching. To get us on the board at least. Well, that one's looking, I think. thinking about it. Uh, he took a good look at my jig. Yeah, they might be a little bit finicky today. it seems like it from the ones that I've seen so far. I don't know, sometimes you just gotta get that lure in front of the right fish. It's kind of a popular shore fishing spot, so you never know. Somebody might have just finished up here right before I pulled up and just got done catching all these fish here, so sometimes you just gotta get in the kayak, get away from those shore fishing spots a little bit. There's one right down here in front of me too. I'm probably good 16 inch fish. I got a bigger one though. I saw him come in. I wasn't quite sure if he was looking at my jig or not. But sure enough he was and he grabbed it. That's a decent one. Come here you. Mm. 
Nice, look at that. First molly of the day, that's probably a good 17 and a half, maybe 18 inch fish. Got him on the little Bass Assassin Elite Shiner. I've got him on a 3 16 ounce Kitek roundhead jig. Pretty one. Well, I like seeing that there's some fish up here willing to bite. There's a couple more smallies right up in front of where I just caught that one too. Get my minnow fixed back up and we'll get them back out there. It's a nice little current swirl up here where those fish like to sit. I think that fish right in front of me there is a pike. I know there's a couple other nice mollies basically just swimming circles out here in front of me. I've been trying to catch them for 15 minutes now since I caught that first one, but these other ones aren't quite as cooperative. So I think it's time to head back up to the truck, get my kayak loaded up and drag that down here. We'll head out on the river and see if we can catch a few more. All right, I've got the kayak all loaded up. Let's see if we can find any more smallies willing to bite. I'll probably fish my way around this building a little bit and then we'll work our way downstream. They've added some buoys this year, so it's a little bit tough getting to some of those spots from shore, but We'll try to hit some of the corners inside those buoys from the kayak. This looks fishy over here. We've got some nice shade over here on this side. There's one. Oh yeah, that's a big smallie. It's hanging out back there in that corner. i try to keep him off that concrete. Come here, you. Nice. Look at that. Beauty of a smallmouth. Oh, that is so much fun. I just tossed my jig right into that corner there. Felt a real nice thump. I had this guy at the end of my line. Beautiful fish. We found one more hanging out off that building. There are a couple of really nice smallies swimming around out front. I just could not get to bite. Luckily, right over here, this is where I take my kayak out at the end of the day. So we'll probably 
give that spot another try before we call it quits. Well, I just lost my jig to a tree snag. I knew it was only a matter of time fishing that bear hook through stuff like this downstream here until I lost that one. So I'm going to switch over to a bitsy bug jig. I'll give you guys a quick look after I finish tying my knot. It's a black quarter ounce bitsy bug jig and then I have a Z-Man TRD craw for a trailer. That one's got the weed guard on it. It should help me avoid snagging up on stuff like this a little bit. Pretty slow day out here on the river so far. I've been working my way downstream for about an hour and a half now. I just missed a really nice bite right up here, but I don't know, the way things have been going today, I don't think that fish is going to come back for it a second time. <laughs> They've been pretty picky out here. I've seen two or three smallies come up and look at my jig, but I guess they decided to say no thanks. I don't know, maybe we just gotta keep fishing until that switch gets hit and they start biting. I'll keep moving along. There's a fish. Finally, I found one willing to bite downstream here. Oh, it's a nice one too. Get my anchor dropped. Oh, this might be the big one of the day so far. Oh yeah. Look at that. Beast of a smallie. Got that one on the Bitsy Bug Z-Man TRD Cross combo. It's hanging out right in the corner there. There's a little current break behind those trees. Saw this guy and he had a buddy swimming along with him there too. What a beautiful fish. another fish same spot I just caught that last one I think I got his buddy oh he got away oh man that was a chunk oh well at least I got a look at him man that was a nice fish though wish I could have got that one in the net
looks kind of similar to the spot where I just caught that real nice one out of. I'm gonna turn around and fire my jig up there a couple of times, I think. There's a little one right there in front of me. Hopefully there's a big mama hanging out over here too. Oh yeah, there was. Oh, you stay down. Oh, this is a big small, you guys. There's my net. Get over here. Oh my gosh. Wow. Well, I'm not hammering them today, but all the fish I'm catching are quality fish. Man, that is a monster. I forgot my check it stick, but I might try to get a length along my paddle here if I can. Start him out at 10. I just gotta find a spot where my paddle's not all worn out. There we go. So I've got his lip at the three, his tail at the 24. Man, that is a 21 inch fish. Absolute beast of a smallie. Just thinking, this looks a lot like that spot where I caught that last big one out of. And dump, a 21 incher comes knocking. Swipe at it there. Oh, it was a pike. I'll pass on the pike. I probably should check my line though, because he definitely made contact with something there. Good thing I did that. I would have hated to have that happen when I get my hook into another 20 inch plus smallie. You would have been gone with my jig. That's not how I wanted to finish the day. And there's a big smallie right there too. I hope this pike will just shake this. The smallie, hey, what's going on over there, Mr. Pike? What do you got there? You wanna share it? Well, you might as well just bite it off. I'm gonna have to tie that one anyway. There we go. Get it over with. Little pike. Kind of a cool strike on that one at least. Well, I kept fishing my way downstream for about an hour. 
after I got that 21 incher. Haven't had much action since then. One little pike, that was about it. So I've floated maybe a mile downstream from where I launched. That's about as far as I like to go when I have to paddle back upstream to get to my vehicle. I mean, this current is moving pretty good today. I'll have no problem getting back up there, but it's better to be safe than sorry. I don't want to bite off more than I can chew for the paddle back, or if I, God forbid, I injure myself or something, I don't want to have to limp back too far. But I'm going to start working my way back up that way. We'll see if we can catch another fish or two along the way. I got bit there. There goes a smallie right there. There's a fish. Well, that's a decent one. Didn't really feel much of a thump there. I think that guy just kind of picked my jig up off the bottom. Get in my net. Look at that. Jeez, another tank of a smallie. It's been nothing but quality fish out here today. Look at the spots on that one. What a pretty fish. Yeah, this seems to be the type of spot that we're finding them in today. I don't know if you guys can really see, but there's a downed tree up there making a little bit of slack water off the bank here. So I was just about to give up on that cast and a fish picked it up. It is a nice one too. Come on back here. I'm just gonna float downstream with this fish, I guess. Up here, you. Wow. Jeez, look at that chunk. Well, I was almost back upstream to where I started from, so that might be the last fish of the day. Nice one to finish an awesome day out here on the river off with, though. All right, you guys, I think that's gonna do it for today's trip. I'm just about back upstream to where I started from. Fun day out here on the river though. I did have to work for those fish a little bit, but we caught, what, half dozen smallies and they were all quality fish. I mean, I think the smallest one I caught was maybe 17, 18 inches, all the way up to 21 for the biggest. So it was a great way to kick off the season here in Minnesota. It was really just nice being back on the river again. The weather was perfect for today. Caught some real nice smallies. I had a lot of fun out here. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Thanks for coming along with me again. I'll see you next time.